All right, as usual, if there's any corrections on the FRQs, it's in the description below or in the pinned comment. So a survey conducted by National Research Center asked a random sample of 920 teenagers in the U.S. how often they use a video streaming service. From the sample, 59% answer they use a video streaming service every day. This is a proportion. You should be thinking percentages, proportion. Construct and interpret a 95% confidence zone for the proportion of all teenagers in the unit who respond that they use a video streaming service every day. Okay, so this is a, I would identify this. This is a one proportion, uh, proportion Z interval. Okay, now we're just gonna use a calculator for this, but we would specify Okay, so there's a couple things I would probably do. I would, I would, I would also state the conditions and make sure that they're met, right? So one, it is a random sample. Check. Two, they are um, independent. Independent has to do with the fact that the we would say the assume this is the where it's less than 10% of the population. Assume that 920 is less than or equal to 10% of the population. It's reasonable to assume that. Three, that it um, it's normal condition, because we're going to use a Z interval, so we want a normality condition. And that is that um, N times P is greater than or equal to 10, and N times P, N times 1 minus P, is greater than or equal to 10. So we have 920 times 0.59. is 540, 543, that's greater than or equal to 10, check. And then n times 920 times 0.41 is 377, greater than or equal to 10, check. Okay, so we've, we've, we've stated the name, we've set the conditions, now we're gonna use the one prop z interval and what are the parameters we're going to use? We're going to use p hat is equal to 0 0.59. And we're going to use a confidence level of 0 0.95. And let's see what else the calculator is going to require us to do here. So we're going to do um, stat tests, one prop z test, not z, z it's a one, uh, one prop z int. Okay, oh, um, yeah, uh, n is 920. And oh, uh, so yeah, so uh, you could say the the number of successes you had was what we calculated with here, which was 543. You want to use a whole integer for this one if you want to use this method, or you could do it by hand. N is 920, C level is 0.95, and then um, calculate. So this would be my confidence interval would be 0.5584 to 0.662. All right, and they want construct and interpret it so that we are 95% confident that the true proportion, seems low to me, by the way, of teenagers using streaming services, using a video streaming service, you want to say true proportion, like the population, your streaming services is between um, 55.8% to 66.2%. Okay. Based on the confidence interval, did the sampling data survive statistical evidence that the proportion of teenagers in the US who would respond that use a video streaming service every day is not 0.5? And we'd say yes because the confidence interval does not contain, the confidence interval does not contain 0 0.5, does not contain 0 0.5. Okay, that would be sufficient to justify that.